In today's video, I will talk about the major of biostatistics around the following five topics. First, I will talk about the major. According to Wikipedia, biostatistics are the development and application of statistical methods to a wide range of topics in biology. It encompasses the design of biological experiments, the collection and analysis of data from those experiments, and the interpretation of the results. Here, the biological experiments include experiments on animals and clinical trials. Besides experimental data, we also analyze observational data or data from real world. Here's a list of its applications. When you study statistical methods in the classroom, you often see examples from public health or medical fields. But you can definitely utilize what you learn from the classroom to solve problems in other fields or analyze data from other fields. The major of biostatistics is closely related to the other three majors. The first major I want to mention is statistics, which is a form of mathematical analysis that uses quantified models. From my perspective, statistics is more theoretical than biostatistics. So if you are major in statistics, you will have less chance of analyzing data in hand and manipulating different kind of softwares. You will spend more time on understanding the theoretical part of different kind of quantified models. The next major I want to mention is data science, which is a popular major recently. It is an interdisciplinary field that uses scientific methods, processes, algorithms, and systems to extract the knowledge and insights from many structural and unstructural data. Data science is related to data mining and big data. From my perspective, the field of data science uses exploratory data analysis methods more often uh, than the field of biostatistics. We biostatisticians usually analyze structural data rather than unstructural data. In the field of biostatistics, the model we use are more stringent. The last major I want to mention is bioinformatics, which is also an interdisciplinary field that develops methods and software tools for understanding biological data. From my perspective, if you are major in bioinformatics, you will have more chance of analyzing genome expression data. From my perspective, the field of bioinformatics is more close to the field of computer science and information engineering, where the field of biostatistics is more close to the field of mathematics and statistics. Next, I will talk about the career. Here is the official website of the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, which summarizes a lot of uh, fast-growing occupations in the next 10 years from 2018 to 2028. I use a yellow color to mark the occupation of statisticians. I think they summarize the occupation of biostatisticians under the occupation of statisticians. Here we can see that in the next 10 years, we are expecting 30% growth in the demand of statisticians. For biostatisticians, I use the orange star to mark those occupations that are health-related, uh, including healthcare, aids, uh, medical assistance, etc. You can see that a lot of occupations here are related to health, from which we can imagine that in the future, the, uh, there will be more and more data generated that are health-related, which provides a lot of opportunities for biostatisticians. As a graduate major in biostatistics, there are a lot of places for you to start your career. To name a few, here are some examples. The ones in the green box are more related to what we learn in the classroom, including pharmaceutical companies, hospitals, medical centers, research institutes, universities, or governments such as FDA. The ones in the red box are less closely related to what we learn in the classroom, but we can definitely find opportunities there, including finance or insurance companies, technology companies, or other gender or commercial companies. Here are two examples. The first example is Cleveland Clinic, which is a huge medical center based in Cleveland Clinic. They have a large group of biostatisticians in many of their departments. There are continuously new hirings from them each year. 
The next example is Netflix. I met someone in a conference whose major is biostatistics and works for Netflix. In Netflix, his job is to compare different kind of advertisement strategies to increase subscription rate from their users which is very similar to what I am doing. My research is causal inference, which is to compare the effectiveness of different drugs. From the point of view of statistical methods, what we are using is very similar. The only difference is that he, his job is to compare different type of advertisement plans, where my job is to compare different type of drugs for disease treatment. If you are curious about the salary, you can go to the website of Glassdoor where you can check the position of biostatisticians. Here is the number for employees with barely working experience. As your working experience increases, the number will go up, especially if you reach to the level of manager or even higher. As an international student, first you have to apply for F1 student visa to enter the UI to obtain your degree. After you get your degree, you can apply for one year OPT so that you can get the permits for employment. If you are major in science, engineering, mathematics, or other majors, including biostatistics, you can extend your OPT period from one year to another two years. Uh, in total, you will have three year OPT period for you to get employed in the U.S. If you want to work in the U.S. even longer, you can apply for employment visa, which is called H-1B. If you want to Im immigrate to the U.S. in the meanwhile under H-1B, you can apply for your green card. When you're preparing for your student visa, there are some majors that are considered to be sensitive for the U.S. government. Therefore, you could be under the risk of being checked for your visa. Therefore, your travel will be postponed. The major of biostatistics is not in this list. However, the governors may mistakenly think uh, our major is belong to the category of chemical and biotechnology engineering. They could ask you to further submit more materials in order to get your visa. To avoid being checked for your visa, you have to well prepare for all the materials for your visa application. Here is the official website of the U.S. Bureau of Consular Affairs in China. And what's shown in the right is the uh, optional uh, material. They are not required, however, I do recommend to prepare all of these materials in order to uh, get your visa in time. As long as you well prepared all the material, uh, you could get your visa with no problem. One advantage of our major is that you have a lot of opportunities to work for non-profit organizations such as research institute, medical centers, and universities. If you work for those type of organizations, you can get rid of the H-1B lottery to get your employment visa. Next, I will talk about job hunting. You can submit your resume to the official website where you want to get a job. Uh, in the Glassdoor website, as I mentioned before, they have uh, lots of uh, potential hirings. You can check there to find opportunities. You can also go to the official website of some organizations, such as American Statistical Association, where you can see the uh, opening positions posted in their career center section. Another option is the official website of the Institute of Mathematical Statistics. IMS website and the ASA website often have positions from academia, such as universities or research institutes, where in Glassdoor you can find more positions from the industry. You can also go to the University Career Center to find more resources. Here I use University of Miami as an example, uh, where you can go there to find uh, potential hires. Uh, they also provide services such as improving your resume. The last part I want to talk about is live in the U.S. I will use the Miami as an example, where you can say on the Top right is a picture of our main campus. 
and what in the right is where our Division of Biostatistics Department of Public Health Sciences are located. Down below is the picture of uh, Miami. When I travel to other places in the U.S., people are curious about the weather in Miami. I recommend them this uh, website. To compare Miami to other places, actually it's not extremely hot. For example, if you compare Miami with the city of Shanghai in China, we only compare the two months with the highest temperature, which is July and August. You can see that actually Miami is a little bit cooler than Shanghai because we are surrounded by the ocean, so our temperature is more mild rather than extremely hot. Here's a comparison of Miami and New York. Here is a comparison of Miami and Los Angeles. For most of the universities in the U.S., we don't offer on-campus dorms for graduate students, but we do provide a lot of information for you to find a roommate conveniently or find a place to live conveniently. Uh, here is an example from the University of Miami. Uh, they have a website of off-campus housing. If people are affiliated with the university, they can post their information of housing or finding a roommate there. Another option is, of course, Zello, where they have even more information that you can check. Public transportation in the Miami data area is very convenient. We have a metro rail that connecting um, the airport, the main campus, the medical campus, and as a student, you have discounted tickets. In the main campus, we have free shuttle to connect the classroom to the metro rail station or from the classroom to the parking lot. Medical campus is pretty small. We don't need any shuttle. You can just walk from the parking lot to the classroom or from the uh, metro rail station to the classroom. We have uh, cafeteria areas in both the main campus and the medical campus. The tuition in the United States are counted by credits. Uh, you can check the website to get the most recent information. If you don't have the budget to purchase a lot of credits, the good thing about the biostatistics is that there are so many online free resources for you to learn by yourself. I recommend this website of data camp where you can learn a lot of software to analysis data. Here's a summary of all the websites I cited in this video. Here is the official website of the master program in the University of Miami where you can contact them if you have specific questions. Thank you very much.